Hi, my name is Robert Brown. I'm in fifth grade, and I am at, I go to Coronita Elementary School, and I will be reading Pig the Fibber by Aaron Blaby. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say he would often tell lies just to get his own way. And when he would fib, he was awfully clever. When, when Pig got in trouble, he would always blame Trevor. You see, he would mess up the living room mat, and then then just po point out and point and say, Tre Trevor did that. Or he'd shatter a beautiful base full of flowers, and then he'd say, Trevor's been crazy for hours. And he once even ripped up an old, oh, lovely old dress. Then he, then he hid behind Trevor and made him confess. Why do you do this? asked poor little Trevor. But I thought we were friends, but Pig said, whatever. Then came the day of Pig's sneakiest plan. He said, I will steal all the treats that I can. They keep them up there in the closet of high. But before I can get them, I need a good lie. And with that, he let rip. Then he, it was stinky and grim. Then he pointed at Trevor and said, it was him. So Trevor was taken outside for some air. This was Pig's chance and he climbed on a chair. Those treats will be mine and I'll gobble them all. But behind all those treats was an old bowling ball. These days, it's different. I'm happy to say Pig has stopped lying. Hip, hip, hooray. He may have some bruises and one less front tooth, but he sure learned his lesson. And that is the truth. Thank you for joining me on CNUSD Reads. We'll see you next week.